You're watching WECT News at 5.30. Erica Arley and Christy Ray are the co-founders of Honeyhead Films, a female-led production company riding high on the critical success of their first feature film, A Song for Imogene. It's the story of a down-on-her-luck musician named Cheyenne who has to deal with layer upon layer of emotional trauma while trying to free herself from an abusive relationship. It's an award-winning representation of the Honeyhead film's mission to tell strong stories from an often overlooked perspective. Erica and Christy, welcome to the one-on-one -on -one with John Evans podcast. Thanks for having Thank us, so John. Much. First, congratulations to the response to a song for Imogene. It is so well-deserved. Erica, you wrote and directed the film. Tell me about the response. What's it been like for you? It's been truly a pleasure, John. I mean, this this was a, you know, slow burn indie drama that puts women, you know, in the foreground, um, so to speak, um, of a cinematic experience for the audience, which I think is just uh, less common, you know, in our industry. The story's feeling universal to audiences outside of our region has meant a lot as a creative producer on the project. The film is highly personal to both Erica and myself. Um, so as an actress, it's kind of a vulnerable situation um, when you're watching the film with a live audience, you know, standing in the Q&A and hearing people talk about their own experiences. It's been very telling that um, there's just been a gap in storytelling. Um, to explore women's issues in this way where they're often overlooked in the South. Erica, of all of the awards in the positive press, world premiere in Bentonville, best feature film at the Rhode Island Film Festival, sold out two at Kukaloris in your hometown, best narrative feature at the Oxford Film Festival. Does one of those mean any more on a higher shelf in Erica's home there than the others, or is it all just, hey, Thank you. Good night. <laughs> I mean, all of those experiences and festivals have been such a blessing. Um, I mean, our hometown premiere at Kukaloris really stands out for me, selling out Bailey and Hall and then selling out our follow-up screening at Django's, um, you know, with people still waiting in line on standby to try to get in. Um, and the reception there, people cheering, people cheered for us. Like that was amazing. That was such a wonderful feeling. And especially because not just this film, I mean, we did, this film is crowdfunded. So, um, you know, in part, and so it really was, our community owns this film as much as we do in certain ways um, and was such a huge part of making this happen. As the lead character, though, Christy, you mentioned this a second ago and you touched on it, but I want to delve into this. Have you gotten feedback from people who were in Cheyenne's shoes? In every single screening, there's always someone. And it, it may not be someone that looks like me. It may not be a young woman. Sometimes it's a man. Sometimes it's um, an elderly person, you know, who has oh, experienced the kind of subtle emotional manipulation that this film explores. I would say more than one at every screening so far to come up to us to say, this is my story too. And um, I've never seen myself portrayed or my situation portrayed on camera. And thank you. Thank you for making this movie. Erica Arley and Christy Ray, you're two of the most talented filmmakers in Southeastern North Carolina, co-founders of Honeyhead Films. I appreciate you taking the time and sitting down for my one-on-one -on -one podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. I truly enjoyed it. Thank you, John.